Hello team, this is Nathan Pennington from RunDreamAchieve.com. Hope you're all having a great day. Today's topic is running a sub three hour marathon. What are five key strategies that I recommend to ensure that you set yourself up for success so that you get to the finish line with that 259.59 on the clock? There are five key areas that I want you all to start focusing on now. In 2022, there are plenty of great races out there. Um, Preferably, you know, definitely focus on getting on a flat course, and there are plenty out there. Chicago, uh, Rotterdam if you're in Europe, Paris, Amsterdam, uh, Indianapolis, Monumental Indianapolis Marathon. It's held in November here in the United States of America. Uh, always a great race. The California International Marathon, where I ran my personal best of 219.35. Um, if you're going to break a sub three hour marathon, my first recommendation is to find a flat course. Find a fast course. Now granted, no course is fast unless the athlete is in phenomenal anaerobic shape, but you don't wanna go after a sub three hour marathon time on a course that's not conducive to, to get you the best result. You know, and, and are there athletes out there that are breaking three hours for the marathon on hilly courses? Absolutely, it can still be done uh, if you train properly over a hilly terrain. Um, but to have the best chances of success in breaking three hours for the marathon, you need to hold 652 mile pace for 26.2 miles or 416 per kilometer for 42.2 kilometers. No easy task. I, I'm, you know, as a, as a sub 220 marathoner, Anybody, you know, this is my viewpoint, anybody that's going under three hours is really at the elite level. And elite is going to be different for everybody, okay? If you're looking at the guys that are breaking two hours and five minutes for the marathon or the females out there, the ladies out there that are breaking two hours and 30 minutes for the marathon or two hours and 20 or two hours and 15 minutes even, world record now for females is 2.14 uh, set in Chicago. If you're looking at that, um, then it, it's a, you know, that's the cream of the cream, the, the, the elite of the elite. Um, there are very few athletes around the world that ever go under three hours each year that, that run marathons. Very, it's a very small percentage. So my first tip, definitely get on a course that's going to set you up for success and that is going to be most conducive to helping you run that 652 mile pace or 416 per kilometer pace. You wanna be on a flat, fast course. Houston is another great race. The Woodlands Marathon in the Woodlands, Texas. F Pancake flat. Uh, weather conditions are usually decent that, during the, that, those races as well. Jan uh, Houston is held in January. I believe the Woodlands Marathon is held in March. So consider those races as well if you're in that part of the country here in the United States of America. Um, the second tip I wanted to share in running a sub three hour marathon is to run a higher percentage of your weekly volume at near or far below goal sub three hour marathon race pace. And what I mean by at race pace, of course, it's 652 mile pace or 416 per kilometer pace. Near race pace is gonna be anywhere from you know, it's gonna vary from athlete to athlete, but anywhere from like seven minute mile pace to 720 to 730 per mile pace, or um, right around 440 to 450 per K pace. And then of course, far below sub three hour, marath sub three hour marathon pace is gonna be running at paces that are closer to around five minute mile pace or around three flat or under three flat K pace. So again, doing this, running a higher percentage of your weekly volume at near or far below goal race pace is gonna assist you in improving your body's lactate tolerance. That is the name of the game when it comes to marathon running and running a sub three hour marathon is being able to clear lactic acid faster than it's building up. And the only way to teach your body to be able to do that effectively is to train much, much faster than goal race pace. You also, which is my number three tip in running a sub three hour marathon, extend the duration of your tempo runs. If in the past you've done your tempo runs from your, your marathons, um, a big mistake a lot of athletes are making is they're running their tempo runs too short. They're spending too little time at their anaerobic threshold and the longer you can spend at this effort, you know, running at your anaerobic threshold is running closer to anywhere from around 88 to 92% of your maximum heart rate. So very aggressive running, but not so aggressive that you are going into oxygen and debt. 
okay, this training at your anaerobic threshold, you can spend several minutes to several, you know, even up over an hour running at your anaerobic threshold. And you have to think think long term when it comes to breaking a sub three hour marathon too. Um, you're not gonna just start off running 10 mile or 16 kilometer uh, tempo runs your first week into a 16 week block of training. You know, all of my training plans and the courses that I have on rundreamachieve.com, I even have a course for sub three hour marathoners that are trying to break this barrier. We always focus first on getting the athlete to adapt to the stress that is being placed on them. This takes about three to four weeks, so we focus on periodization. We focus on one specific intensity for three weeks. Once the athlete has adapted to that intensity, then we move to the next intensity. And as the athlete gets fitter, the, vol the recovery rest period between each one of those reps goes down, so less rest, and the paces per interval, whether it's repeat miles on the track or repeat uh, 600s, repeat 400s, the rest of the the paces increases and the rest is the rest between those intervals decrease. So that is a key thing. You have to spend a higher percentage of your weekly volume training at the paces that you're going for. Sub three hour marathon is uh, extremely competitive. It's a very tough time. Again, 652 mile pace is tough enough for even if you go out and run 652 mile pace for five miles or eight kilometers. Uh, but to go out and do that for 42 kilometers or you know 42.2 kilometers or, or 26.2 miles, you have to be in phenomenal aerobic and anaerobic shape. So spend a higher percentage. If say you're doing 70 miles a week and you've done that in the past, you've only spent you know you've only spent a, between 15 to 20 miles of those 70 miles running at under 652 mile pace. It's going to be very hard for you to to run 259 because again you just simply haven't spent sufficient time practicing running at near or far below that pace and that's a big mistake that a lot of athletes make they start second guessing themselves and doubting themselves and saying maybe i don't have what it takes look at your training in the past look at your volume have you been focusing on uh which i which are going into this third thing this third tip in terms of running on running a sub three hour marathon get beyond just thinking higher volume is the answer to breaking a sub three hour marathon it's about working smarter not working harder. You know, I got up to 142 miles a week training to run under my personal best of 219.35, thinking that, well, to, to break 219, you know, it's only another 35 seconds. I just need to increase my volume. That, that didn't, it didn't bring me to the, the, end, the end goal, okay? I ran my personal best for, for the marathon on 85 to 90 miles a week. But the mileage I was doing focused, I was white hot focused on training far below five minute mile pace and far below uh, three minute K pace because I knew to break what my, my goal was, was to break two hours and 22 minutes. I knew I had to hold 525 mile pace or around 322 to 320 per kilometer pace. I had to get trained and get used to training much, much faster than I was going for. So quality over quantity. You hear it all the time, but it's very difficult for us as athletes to, to really take this advice to heart, okay? So as you're leading into your races in 2022, um, again, focus on finding a fast, flat course that's gonna set you up for success, that's gonna give you the best chance of breaking three hours and getting in that group of athletes that are going for 259 or faster. Um, sometimes just getting in that group in, in your marathon and sitting behind them and, and um, you know, letting them do the, big, the, the majority of the work is going to help you the most. And, and if you feel great in the last 10 kilometers of the marathon, make your move in that last 10K because most athletes um, are really going to be hurting come that point. So, um, which brings me to number four, the number four strategy. If you want to run a sub three hour marathon, aim at a negative split in the race, if you can. Um, you know, when I ran 219.35, I went out in 107.09 the first half. My personal best for the half marathon is 107.06. So I was running much, much faster than I was ever expecting on going out, you know, at the start of the race. I wasn't expecting on going out that fast, but sometimes when you've tapered down correctly, you're just going to, you're gonna, and, every, and you do everything right in training to break your specific goal race. So in terms of, in, in your case, breaking three hours, 
sometimes you're just going to have, uh, you're going to be in that flow state. And I was in a flow state. There's no question about it. Um, I was with the leaders of, you know, I was running with about five or six Kenyans, uh, a Canadian and a Russian. And they pretty much helped me get to, get to the point where I was, you know, they helped me break that 220 marathon barrier. I was still at uh, 144.05 through the 20 mile mark, 511 mile pace. And then ended up coming in fourth place overall, top American at the 2007 California International Marathon. Um, so use those athletes when you're in the race too, you know, and find a flat course, fast course, very competitive race where you're going to have athletes with you. And there's plenty of great marathons out there, out there, out there that's going to help you um, break that three hour marathon. Um, number four, uh, run longer. Another big mistake a lot of athletes make in training for the marathons is they're not running long enough. So in the past, if your longest long run was a 16 miler or maybe a 17 miler, consider doing a you know a 22 to 24 miler. Start you know spending longer amounts of time on your feet. It's going to help you even if you're just running easy and relaxed. It's going to help you burn fat and build your endurance. Um, the last tip, the last strategy I want you to start thinking about in 2022, and if you know in the past year, maybe you're a 4:30 marathoner and you're and you're dreaming about running 2:59, or you're you've run very low threes, 3:05, maybe 3:12, um, is to start running faster at long runs. Um, another big mistake athletes make is they're great on running long 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 runs and being consistent in that respect. Um, but they're not running fast enough during their long run. So this is a strategy that helped me the most in breaking two hours and 20 minutes to go from, you know, my previous best in 2002 was 243.36. And by 2007, I had run 219.35 by using this specific strategy, faster long runs. I, I was continually uh, doing, you know, I was I had the motivation to get out the door and train hard like you all do, um, but... I kept running my long runs every single weekend easy and relaxed. You have to get beyond just running easy and relaxed every weekend. It's going to make you a very strong, long, slow distance runner. You're trying to break a three-hour marathon, so you have to start running those long runs faster. That's how I built the training plans and the running courses on RunDreamCheat.com. How I built those, the training in, is varying the paces of the long runs. And there's always... Um, we alternate a faster pace long run followed the following week by a, an easy relaxed long run so to ensure that you're recovering from your harder anaerobic long runs again this is a strategy that a lot of athletes aren't using and I you know I know if you start focusing on this type of tactic you'll have a much better sh chance of breaking three hours to the marathon sometimes you can do everything right you you know you can you're, you're doing the speed sessions on the track you're doing your one vo vo2 max workout per week you're training at sprint paces you know whether you're doing repeat 600s repeat 400s repeat miles on the track uh, you've done tempo runs a lot of times you can do it all right and still get it incorrect the key thing is and, and which leads me into my last uh, tip and this is just a bonus tip is you have to be tenacious athletes that are trying to break a three-hour marathon are not average these athletes are every athlete I've ever known that has broken a three hour marathon is hungry. They, they are disciplined, motivated, driven for what they want. They are not just interested in being a successful marathoner. They are dedicated. They are fully committed to doing what they want to do. And they will continue to do what they need to do until they get what they want. So be tenacious in your actions as you lead into 2022. I hope this video is helpful for you all that are, you know, all the athletes out there that, that are watching this video that want to become a 259 or 59 or faster marathoner. I hope this was helpful for you. If there's anything else I can help you out with, leave me a comment sec in the comment section below. Uh, feel free to subscribe and give me a like if you can. I appreciate it. It helps the channel grow and more athletes around the world see these videos. So I appreciate you all. I wish you the very best in your marathon training. Again, under all my videos are resources that will help you get to the next level in your racing. Again, I commend you for break, going after this sub three hour marathon barrier. I know you can do it. Um, I've lived it myself. So what I'm teaching in these videos, I've, I've done myself and I've dealt with setbacks and, and um, doubting myself and just like any every other athlete. But the key thing is to pick yourself up when you have bad workouts or bad races and stick 
to the plan. Don't let up and don't second guess yourself when you have a few races that don't go your way or a few workouts. What you're trying to do is going to be very demanding on you. It's going to take everything to, to break three hours and you have to be trained. You have to think and train the way a world-class athlete trains and, and, and think in a, such a way that will help you get what you want. Visualize yourself doing this. Visualize and believe in what you're doing. See yourself on a daily basis getting across the finish line with 259.59 on the clock. Mental preparation is absolutely essential and it's what most of the world-class athletes I've trained with, literally all the world-class athletes I've trained with follow. They know that mental training is just as important, if not more important than the, than the physical training in breaking a three hour marathon. So I hope you uh, enjoyed this video. I wish you all the best and I will talk to you all in the next next one.